once again welcome back to my youtube channel b cloud group in today's video we are going to talk about weighted routing policy in route 53 or route 53 whatever you like to call it this is the fourth video in the series of videos for route 53 if you want to go through the previous ones then the link for all my videos have been provided in the description box below i strongly suggest to have a look on those videos to get the basics clear before you start configuring the weighted and other routing policies in Route 53 Management Console. I have divided this video in three different parts. In the first part, I would talk about the weighted routing policy in Route 53, what it is, how do you configure it, what are the terms or uh, the nomenclature involved. In the second part, I would show you the diagram which would indicate the EC2 setup I have used to test the configuration as well as is a small formula which is suggested by AWS to calculate and use the weights in the weighted routing policy. In the third part, we would log into the AWS management console and obviously we try to configure the routing. So let's start guys. So what is an weighted routing policy? In, to configure weighted routing policy or weighted routing, you create resource records that have the same, that have the same name and the type for each of your resources. You assign each record a relative weight that corresponds with how much traffic you want to send to each resource. If you look at it here on this green arrow, you'll see there's a number mentioned this, the number 35. So this is the weight which I have assigned to this particular server or the resource. According to those weight assignments, Amazon Route 53 or Route 53 sends traffic to a resource based on the weight that you assign to the record as a proportion of the total weight for all records in the group. So the, the traffic would be sent as a proportion to the individual record and the sum of all the records. Now the question comes where we can use this, count, uh, this type of routing. So you can use it for load balancing where you are aware about the total workload or the workload is predictive and you are aware about it as well as the you are very much confirm about the capacity of your servers. Suppose you have an application running on two different sites and you know that one of the server can take up 20% of your total workload and the other one can take up 80% of your workload. So because maybe that server have a better configuration in terms of computing power or memory or it might have a faster network bandwidth. So accordingly, you can assign the different weights to the resource records which would be pointing to those respective servers. So let's see how we can test and configure it. There's a small diagram I have. So this would be the EC2 setup I would be using to configure and test this configuration of weighted routing policies. And as I mentioned in the previous slide, slide, there was a small formula which has been suggested and recommended by AWS to calculate the weight or use the weights in your weighted routing policy. So what happens, like we have three different records here, 35, 45, 65. So the formula would be uh, weight for a specified record, like this one here would be 35 and the sum of all, some of the weights for all records, like I have three records and sum of all of these three, 35, 45 and 65. So it will become 35 divided by 145. So as I mentioned, these numbers are not the percentage. These are the, 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 the integers which we are using to assign a number of weight. And if we start calculating the percentage, let, let me uh, calculate for this example. So it would be 35 divided by 145. So total percentage would be 24.14% although we are using a weight of number of 35. So this is the weight number of this is the weight number which is being assigned to this resource, rec resource record but it is not the percentage. So that's enough of the PowerPoint guys. Let's go and uh, check the AWS management console and try to configure it. So where is my management console? Here is my management console. Let's go to services and before we go that I'll show you the EC2 setup which I have. So it is the same setup which you use for the simple routing policy. If you haven't gone through that video, uh, there would be description box. There will be a link provided in the description box below. Please have a look at it beforehand. So this is one instance I have in Northern Virginia. So there's one web server here. So let me check whether it's working or not. So I'll copy this public IP of my EC2 instance. 
paste it here it should give me something here so this is one is working so let me check the others as well so let me move to my different region that is asia pacific singapore so this is my asia pacific singapore region i'm supposed to have two ec2 instances instances here so these are the two my uh, my two instances so this is the first instance let me copy and paste this ip here and check whether it's work up and running and it's working fine let me check the other one so this is the public ip address for my ec2 instance i'll copy and paste it here in the browser so here we go so this is how it's also working so all of my instances which we represented in our presentation are working these are three instances which we have so now we'll start configuring the routing policies for them weighted routing policy let's go back to the management console and click on services move to route 53 So this is my root 53 console. Let me go and check my hosted zone. So there's a one hosted zone which I have from the previous uh, labs, bcloudguru.co.uk. Click on that. So you can see there would be two public records which I have that is NS and SOA name server as well as startup authority records. So we'll start creating for a, the weighted uh, record set for weight, our weighted routing policy and before that I will as I mentioned earlier to configure weighted routing we create records that have the same name and type here so type and name would remain same create a record set I would be creating it for the zone apex so I will not put anything in the name so it will remain at bcloudguru.co.uk I would be creating a host record or a record so it will I will keep it the same I am not creating an alias here I would be providing a TTL. So guys, regarding the TTL, this is the amount of time in seconds that you want your DNS resolver to cache information about this record. So if you specify a longer value, then you would be paying less for Route 53 services because recursive resolvers or your DNS resolver will send requests to Route 53 less often. But it has another side as well then it takes longer time for your records to get updated suppose you are changing the ip address of one of your servers then it will take time for that new ip address to get reflected so another pointer if you are associating this record with the health check in our simple routing policy there was no health check but if you click on the weighted routing policy you will see there are an option to associate with health checks we will not be configuring health check at this point of time we will be doing it in the later part but if you are configuring your weighted routing policy and associating it with the health check then it is recommended by amazon that the ttl should be 60 seconds or less than that so that your clients respond quickly to change in health status so i'll be keeping here 10 seconds because we are just you know going to test it so i'll put a value here so this would be the my server a uh, public IP address, I'll copy it here, go back to Route 53 Management Console, paste it here. I had already, already selected the weighted routing policy and here comes the weight. So here again, you will be providing an, an integer, but this is not a percentage. So I'll be providing like 65 here, set ID. Set ID should be the unique description of this record. So I'll go back, I'll do one thing, I'll grab it from this place. Maybe copy paste which should work here. So copy and paste and I'll create the associated record so it's being created so my first record for weighted routing policy have been created so the name of the record set is bcloudguru.co.uk and the type would be a type i'll create a, the next one i'll keep the name and the type uh, would remain same i'll keep the ttl as 10 seconds I'll take the IP address, the public IP address, my EC instance, EC2 instance from Asia Pacific region. I'll copy and paste it here. I'll select my routing policy as weighted routing policy. This is the weight, so I'll provide a weight of maybe 35. The set ID would be, I'll again do this copy paste from this place. So I'll copy and paste it here and I'll no health check for this and i'll create the associate i'll create the record set let's go back and do for our last server as well the name and the type would remain same ttl would be 
10 seconds and this is the I public IP address of my EC2 instance. I'll copy it from here, go back to management console, paste it back. Sorry. So I'll paste it back. So this is the IP. I'll select my route routing policy that is the weighted. I'll give it a weight of maybe 45. Set ID. I will again take it from this place. I'll go back. Sorry. I'll go back to my root 3 management console. Put the set ID here. Click on create and it will create my final record set for weighted routing policy. So that's how guys you create or configure your weighted routing policy. Let me go and have a check also it takes time before this all things can gets propagated throughout the world. So I'll see what it shows here. It's showing me Northern Virginia. So maximum time it, sh it should show me the Northern Virginia because I have assigned a higher weight to it. It has been cached so it's going to take some time before the, the whole DNS thing gets propagated. So that's it guys. That was the all about your weighted routing policy. Before we go back let me I'll, I'll show you some something or else I would like to point it out here. So this is my record set. This is the weight we are assigning. So as I said, this is the value that determines the proportion of DNS queries that route 53 responds by using the current record. Now what happens if you put a zero here? So if you put a zero, then the disable, then the routing to that particular resource would, would be disabled. But if you set weight of weight for all your records in the group zero, then the traffic is routed to all resources with equal probability. So that's how if you put zero on one record, so the routing to that particular resource would be disabled. But if you put zero to all the all the three records, then the traffic would be would be routed in equal proportion to all of the records. So that was the your weighted routing policy. So that's it guys. That was all about our weight, weighted routing policy. Thanks for watching and if you like the video then you know the drill please like and subscribe and for more such videos and related information you can always visit my website www.beaklawgroup.com thanks for watching guys